The hurricane is creating travel chaos for those looking to get out of the Sunshine State. Today alone, Flight Aware, a tracking service, says more than 900 flights were canceled in Florida. A Columbia man traveling through that area spoke to us about his trip home. Here's Kaylin Hagwood. A relaxing vacation in the Caribbean. It was absolutely what I needed. Turned to one of stress for Robert Reese, a Columbia native, traveling home through Florida amid Hurricane Ian. And it was frantic. Reese was in the Dominican Republic with family and friends over the weekend. Hurricane Fiona was the first threat. Really, I was just thinking that it was the trip was going to get canceled, but I stayed in contact with my uncle who was already there. And so he was like, oh, no, we just got some heavy rains. He said, so come on. After five days on the island, it was the trip back that left him more wondering, would they make it home? You know, you get text updates from the airlines. And so they sent me a text message saying, you know, the storm was expected to hit and this was your first travel alert. Miami was one stop in his trip. According to FlightAware, more than 170 flights were delayed there on Tuesday. The flight out was delayed and it was fully packed and people there trying to get on. The actual plane flight was uh, very turbulent. It was just bad weather the whole ride. His uncle on a later flight was unable to fly into Florida and had to be rerouted to an airport in New York. Tonight, Reese just feeling thankful, settling in ahead of Ian's impact here at home. This was an opportunity for me to get away and to recalibrate, you know, get refreshed. And it did that, even though the hurricane came. In Columbia, Kaylin Hagwood, News 19, WLTX.